Rub in circular motions until absorbed. For best results, use daily before twerking. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have not one, but two boxy charms to share with you guys. The first one is actually from last month, and the second one will be for this month. Um, I got last month's boxy charm super late, and I was not able to film in time. So I thought I'll just go ahead, share the items in there, and I did use a few of the items on my face today as well. But I'll just quickly go through that and then we'll get into the box charm for this month. And I will, of course, include timestamps. So whichever one you're interested in, you could watch one or the other or both. Doesn't matter. But anyways, before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button and also please click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and fall time and christmas time are my favorite times of year so i usually have an abundance of videos and will upload multiple times a week so trust me you don't want to miss out all right without further ado let's jump right in so first up in the july july august yes yes this month is august so yes we'll be doing july's box first we have first the dermalect out crease retinol trifecta serum and um it is in this little glass bottle right here i did get to use it a couple of times it is kind of very silky and oily but once you put it on your skin and it dries down it just feels like it's like a dry oil basically and um it's very nice it feels very nice as you can see it's just very very silky i'm not even pressing the the little stopper so be careful of that <laughs> um i had the stopper completely filled and then um it all spilled on my carpet because the stopper is not i don't know it didn't really do its job did it but um, I do actually like this. I didn't see any great changes to my skin yet, but I did only use it a handful of times. So like always, I will update you guys either on Instagram or in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how much this is. This actually retails for $39, which is not cheap. And it says it's for fine lines, wrinkles, thick skin, sun damage. Um, I have fine lines and sun damage, so I'm hoping that this will make a difference. So I'll just keep using it and I will let you guys know. The second item is another skincare item and it is by Mud Masky. Never heard of them before. It is their vitamin infused eye serum and it is to fight dark circles and fine lines around your eyes. Um, so I did also use this a few times as well and I mean I haven't noticed any benefits when I use this but it was weird because my husband never comments on my skin and then he was like looking at me and he was like your under eyes look darker are you getting enough sleep and it was after I started using this so I don't I don't know why like all of a sudden he never notices my skin or anything and for him to make that comment after i started using this was kind of weird so <laughs> i stopped using this and i don't know maybe i'll have my sister test it out see if it works for her or if it has the same effect on her making like the under eyes darker i have no idea so <sighs> I, I don't know yet about this one. And this retails for $63, okay? So um, if it's not helping my skin, I don't, I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys have used this. Has it made your under eyes darker? Has it improved your skin? I mean, each person is different, so you never know, but so far, not so good. So I, I literally stopped using it because he commented randomly on my under eyes as soon as I started using this so that's gonna be a no-go for me for right now but you never know next we have this liquid eyeliner from Bella Pierre cosmetics and it retails for $20 and it is jet black as they say I definitely agree it is the eyeliner that I have on today for my winged liner and it's very nice very very pointed like the little brush. It's not even a brush. It's like, I don't even know 
if you can see that. Yeah, it's like a felt tip almost. Very nice and dark. Let me make do a little swatch here. And this is, of course, in the color black, and it dries down nice and matte, and I really, really like this. This next product made me feel very nostalgic. I used to have these kind of pens as a kid with like the multiple colors. I used to think those were so cool, and they came out with an eyeliner version, which is so crazy. I, I absolutely love this concept. Um, it is by Ali Oop, and it is called the... Pen Pal 4-in-1 Makeup Pen, which is amazing. I, oh my gosh, I saw this and I was like, this is so cool. This is such like an ingenious idea, you know? Um, it pretty much has all the colors that you would need. Uh, let's see, there's like a black, a dark brown, and this is like a light brown. I don't know if I would ever use the light brown, but um, it also has like a champagne-y color as well. I do wish that the light brown was traded in for like a navy blue or a like straight up nude, maybe even white, but maybe the brown you can use for your eyebrows if your eyebrows match the color. But either way, the idea of it is so cool. I absolutely love this product purely because of the idea. The eyeliner itself is... All right, I did use this on my tight line and it didn't really show up all too well. Um, I was expecting more pigment. Maybe if I were to just use it as like, like on my lid for a regular winged liner, it would show up better. But um, for tight lining, it didn't really show up. With that being said, I still love this product. I, I just love this. Like what? <laughs> Does this not bring you back? <sighs> I do. I do love this. And last but certainly not least is um, a product from Ofra Cosmetics and it is the Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. On the top, it doesn't have a mirror, but it says, smile, you are beautiful, which is very sweet to have a reminder, you know, every now and then. And then it has these beautiful shades. And this one was actually part of the Boxy Choice, I believe. Um, BoxyCharm actually lets you choose just like one item out of your box. They, g they give you some options, of course, but yeah, you can choose which item you want. And I chose this one because I, I saw this color right here and I thought it was gorgeous. So I had to have it. This is like the inner Pisces in me, like I had to have that color. So yes, I got this palette purely for this color. But thankfully I knew L4 Cosmetics wouldn't let me down. These um, highlight shades were phenomenal. I used them for my eyes and for my cheeks. I also used, let's see, for my eyes, um, I used this orange color, this brown color. This color is gorgeous, as you saw, um, or as you will see, I will have a makeup tutorial portion towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. But um, yes. Very, very gorgeous. I absolutely love this palette. And this retails for $39. So yes, a nice little palette. And it has all of the colors back here. And I love this palette. <laughs> I love that color too. I didn't use it this time, but I did use it, I think it was like last week or something, and I loved it. It was so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Just this right on top of the lid with some of this buffed out uh, for the outer corner very beautiful but yep that is it for the july box <laughs> oh my gosh i totally forgot so the theme for july's box was fantasy very funny very nice all righty so let's move on to this month's box which is the august boxy charm this month's theme is go all out this first item is by dr lily fawn and it is the probiotic x lash enhancer this retails for $68, which is crazy expensive, but um, you know, we got it in our box charm, so that's good. And it's one of those lash serums that's supposed to help with lash growth. Pretty cool. Um, I didn't try this out yet because I literally got this box today. So um, I will, of course, let you guys know um, in the description box or my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on there. But um, it is supposed to 
give you longer and fuller lashes in 4 to 12 weeks. So we shall see how this does. <laughs> All right, so the next item is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It is by Frank and Body, which um, they're pretty much known for their coffee scrub, but this is their Booty Drops Firming Body Oil. Uh, it says caffeine, a butt forklift. And then it says grapeseed oil for a baby soft booty. <laughs> what? Uh, and then on the side it says pop lock and booty drop. Uh, it says booty boosting caffeine, feel supple and hydrated, feel tighter and firmer. It also says get to know me, I'm a highly caffeinated body oil for firmer looking skin, better circulation and more risque dance moves. <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to squeeze a few drops into your moisturizer and apply it directly onto dry skin. Rub in circular motions until absorbed for best results used daily before twerking. All right, so this is the bottle, and um, let's see what the oil looks like. Yeah, it just looks like a very thin oil. I will, of course, let you guys know if this does what it claims. It's a very, very interesting product. Um, I especially like the name, Booty Drops. Next, we have this Truly Beauty Pineapple Haze CBD Glossy Lip Butter, and it retails for $16. It has, let's see, uh, 50 milligrams of CBD, pineapple, mango, jojoba oil, and vitamin E boost. This has a very strong tropical scent, but it has like an after scent that smells very chemically. If you're very sensitive to scents, then be careful, but um, I did apply this on my lips before I started my makeup, and um, the smell just kind of faded away after a while, but it did leave my lips very buttery smooth. Um, just feels kind of like an oil on your lips after it kind of melts down, very nice. And I really like the color of it. It's so pretty, it's kind of like an ombre. It's very hard to tell, very slight ombre, but very nice. It looks very whipped and I liked it. And last but certainly not least, we have this Laura Geller The Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $45. This is the palette right here. It comes with a mirror and it has these beautiful shades right here. I did actually use some of these shadows for this eye look as well, um, but I actually like them. I mainly could tell a difference with this brown shade. Um, I darkened the outer corners with this and it was very nice, it did its job. The rest, let's see, I did use this in the center of my eye to make it kind of pop a little bit more. Let's do some swatches. Here are some swatches, very, very pretty. I especially like this middle shade, very nice. Let me just swatch these on my hand real quick. There you go, there's some pretty lavender shades. Very nice. Um, there's nothing that stands out to me about this palette, but I mean, it blended out very easily, so I will keep using it until I form a thorough opinion because it's really hard to tell. But first impression wise, I actually kind of liked it. I do love these two shades right here. Very, very pretty. Um, and of course, pretty much all of the metallic shades I like, so um, I will continue to use this palette. And I do also like the fact that they included the eyeshadow names on the back, which is very nice, very helpful. And the packaging is also very nice, very compact. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this item. It was just like standing there next to my water bottle. Um, this is by Manica Dar Beauty, and it is the Hydration Happy Face Mist. This retails for $19. And it is actually a mist that you're supposed to use before you apply makeup. I used it before and after, <laughs> but um, it's supposed to prep the skin and create a hydrating base. And it sure did, it sure did. I, I sprayed a little bit too much, so maybe that has something to do with it. But um, yeah, it smells straight up like a salon, like some kind of mousse, hair mousse or something. 
I actually really like the smell, but again, if you're super sensitive to scents, be careful with this one. But uh, yes, I like the packaging, I like the spray, and this is a really big amount as well. I think you get 180 milliliters. So yes, that was the last item. All right, we got through two boxy charms, and if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Please enjoy the makeup tutorial. charm unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye